Support local artists tomorrow at the annual Independent Music and Art Festival presented by the Harrison Center. The day-long festival is now in its 20th year. It runs from noon until 8 p.m. in Indy's old Northside neighborhood. Joining me this morning to talk about the importance of the local arts events like this is festival coordinator Amir Vanest and artist Yavi Tab. Good morning to you. We do appreciate you for being here this morning. It's awesome to see you. Hi, good morning. All right, Amiri, we're going to start with you. You get the first question, and that is, what is the Independent Music and Art Festival? For those who may not know, it's been around for a long time, but some people don't know about it. Yes, so the Harrison Center's Independent Music and Arts Festival is tomorrow from 12 to 8. It is a free festival that has both live music as well as artists. We have about 50 to 60 vendors and a comedy show at 6. Um, the Independent Music and Art Festival will have continuous music with 12 bands on two different stages. In so celebration of Juneteenth, we will also have a drum circle and free roller skating in our back parking lot in addition to our vendors. Wow, it sounds like a lot of cool stuff. Yabi, next for you as an artist, I kind of want to know what was your initial response to COVID? It has affected so many industries, so many different people. What was it like initially and what's it like now? Yeah, in the beginning, uh, obviously, since it has affected all of us, it was challenging to keep creating. But, but as artists, that um, since art is a process of healing and processing things that we're going through, we had to keep creating. So for me, it just showed me what different ways I can use art to tell stories and connect with my immediate community. Oh, we're looking at some yeah. really cool pictures right now. I'm not sure if you can see these, uh, if you have a TV where you are, but it's amazing. Where do you get your inspiration? I am inspired by stories, stories that are around me. So people that I know and love or just historically, I like to um, read into different, you know, stories in the past and create from that. And Yabi and Amir, this one's for both of you and start with you, Yabi. How did, how did the Harrison Center really serve artists during the pandemic? Yeah, the Harrison Center used art, the power of art to enhance community even more. So by creating public art, such as the window displays, which allowed the community to engage with the art in a safe manner. So the Harrison Center commissioned artists around the building to um, install window displays so that people can walk around and view art. And also just creating online uh, galleries and engaging the community to create and connect with artists also. And Amira, your thoughts on the same thing? I think Gabby kind of nailed it. Um, I got to see lots of artists working. The Harrison Center created like beautiful pieces that spoke to even the pandemic and the hardness of this time, but kind of spoke to the joy and the connectivity that it was also bringing and allowing. Awesome, Amir Vanessa, an artist, Yabi Tab. Thanks for being here this morning. We have all the information on the particulars on our website, fox59.com. Ladies, thank you again. Thank, thank you. you.